So you're saying Asia City isn't real? No, no, no. It's real, all right. But all the adverts and tourist boards, a total lie. It's being plundered by the council, like a piñata at a kid's party. Hey, look who's waking up. Joey? Check out my new threads. But... how? This weird guy fixed me. Yeah, I went through your bag while you were asleep. Found my old cleaver in there as well. Thank you. But never mind that. I was monitoring your progress while you were in there. Looks like you nailed both our data problems. So my ID should be cleared then? Your ID. My access to Minos. Result. I thought you said Link Space was empty. It had a major virus. The Helix virus? That's still going. Glad I didn't have to deal with that. Nate! One second, Poppy. Hey, where's her Bilby? Shh. I got the Bilby away from her while you were in Link Space. <laughs> Managed to slip it into your purse without her noticing. Dump it in the incinerator when you leave. It's not a purse. It's a satchel. When I go, is Poppy going to be okay? After what you just did in Link Space? Absolutely. Anyway, I've had enough of this city. I've been planning my exit strategy for months. Just a few hours time, I'm heading out of this happy, happy cesspool of fake smiles, spankles and secrets. Late! And I'm taking Poppy with me. Get her back to her family in the Gap. Take her out of the city? How? I think I figured out a way to slip a U-chip past the system. It's a little bit of genius. It's all about the kudos. You think it'll get her through the city gates? I'm still working on it. But if I'm right, which I always am, I'll get her anywhere. Late, late, late! <laughs> if she can shut up for five minutes. What were you and Joey talking about as I was waking up? <laughs> Foster, you should hear this guy. He's a proper nut job. Says the droid with a god complex. That's not a complex. I am a god. Anyway, ask him about some of his theories. They are wildly entertaining. And by entertaining, I of course mean fascinating and informative. Okay. Theory of evolution. What is all that about? Where's the controlled experiment, right? Duh! Any other conspiracy theories? The only way magenta can exist as a color is if rainbows are actually rain tubes. Think about it! Any other conspiracy theories? Tell him the one about the Minister of Aspiration. Well, I'm not saying conclusively that she's a reverse vampire, but duh! You only ever see her in public during the day. Any other conspiracy theories? Well, you know how everyone thinks the Earth is just a flat disk? Sure. Day one of elementary school. Well, listen to this. Globe. Boom! That's insane. What's the story on that distillery out there? The moonshine still. That's Jimmy's. What's the moonshine made of? Out-of-date spankles. Sounds dangerous. You're not kidding. It's practically weapons grade. Boy, seeing all this old tech takes me back. <laughs> Still the best, isn't it? I mean, sure. Reboots are fine, but they're never a patch on the original. Amen to that. Surely there can't be much call for old robot parts. Listen, I don't judge you. Hey, I'm not judging. My pockets are stuffed full of crap. Did I hear you say Asio City? Don't get me started. When I found out about Asio City, that was the last straw. What happened? You've seen the land trains. They're coming directly from Asio City. Or what's left of it. What do you mean? We destroyed it. An entire metropolis converted to scrap. And the people forced into the gap. That's terrible. 
all while the people of Union City get fat off its remains. And the Council call them our allies. So everything the people are given comes from Asio City? Plucked to the bone. Make no mistake. There can be no ethical consumption in Union City. So my ID is now clear? No blockers? No blockers. I hope you know what you're doing, by the way. Graham wanted his emails hidden for a reason. Of course, I can't patch his two-week absence. But you should be fine so long as you don't meet anyone from well-being. Does Mentor Alonzo count? Yep. Any other things I should be worried about on my ID? Only that you're about a foot taller than the original Graham Grundy. By the way, how the hell did his ID end up in you anyway? That's deep core stuff. It was transferred into my U-chip by a hacker in the gap. Impressive. How long has this dude been a hacker? Not that long, I guess. She can't be more than 14. Oh. Will Graham's ID work like normal? If by normal you mean unprotected, invasive, and exposed, then yes. Good luck, and thanks. Same to you. By the way, you never told me your name. Foster. Robert Foster. Drown. Joey Drown. I don't expect I'll see the two of you again. Everything I'd learned from Leet made me wonder. Maybe all along, Graham was one of the good guys. At least now, with the data blocker removed from his ID, I'd be able to look deeper into his life. Hey, Foster, where are we dropping? Back to Graham's apartment, for some good old-fashioned detective work. Lead the way! Graham's data was now unblocked. I hoped that would help me move forward. Gave you a new shell? Sure did. And what can it do? I don't quite know yet, but it beats hanging out at the bottom of your dusty man purse. It's a satchel. I managed to remove a data blocker from Graham's ID. Well done, Foster. Think you'll find out more information on Milo? I hope so. I should start by seeing if I can access more of his personal data. Well then, let's go. I should be able to find out more about Graham, now that I've cleared Leet's software. Then what are you talking to me for? What do you think of Leet? He brought me back to life. So, I quite like him. Although his dressing gown's a little... loose. I hadn't noticed. Did Leet do anything while I was in the chair? Not that I was around for. As soon as he had me to talk to, he seemed pretty occupied. I know the feeling. Do you think Poppy will be okay? I hope so. This place isn't exactly a daycare center. Do you think Poppy will be okay? Lee will look after her. Let's keep moving. Waiting on you, Rob. That looks kind of familiar. Like someone's been doing some arts and crafts.
human. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. Joey? What now, Foster? Joey, I'm stumped. Where should we go next? To the pub! That's your answer to everything, isn't it? To the pub! Sorry, what was the question? Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. Fancy a mini K? Foster, even if I could eat, I wouldn't eat that. What do you make of this? It's a lens for something. Probably for a projector of some kind. Commencing refill. I think this is yours. Where'd you get that? Give him here. What did Nasty Graham do to you? Just borrowed him, far as I can tell. Kid took good care of him. Kid? What kid? Little girl called Poppy. Runaway. Graham loaned her Bartleby so she wouldn't be scared. It was my engagement gift, you know. Lot of memories. Songbird's tone of voice appeared to soften just for a moment. I'm sure he didn't mean to upset you. Anyway, leave me alone, will you? I have things I need to get on with. Thankfully, Graham's mail access was restored. I hoped it would help me figure out more about who this guy was.
whatever unknown author was, had sent Graham an attachment for the holoplinth. There was one thing I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. HoloLens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? Uh -huh. I swapped the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. It was a secret message. Aspiration Gala. Midnight. Be there. The Gala. That's tonight. And I need to be there. Excuse me, please? Hello, Chipworth. Good evening, sir. Any idea how I can get into this gala? No, sir. But if I were to ever host a party in my cleaning cupboard, I would certainly invite you, sir. I'll bring my own bleach. Thanks, guys. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Never mind. Perhaps later. Very good, sir. Goodbye, Chipworth. Have a very special day, sir. Excuse me, Songbird? Oh, you're back. So you're supposed to go to this Aspiration Gala? Not anymore. After all these years, finally a high enough kudos level to get me to high places. And the Aspiration Gala? That was my chance to soar. The sort of kudos levels that are going to be there. My status would skyrocket. Sounds like fun. It would have been. Now I'll never know. Thanks to you. Are you still mad about the Aspiration Gala? Yes! How do you get invited to the Aspiration Gala? If you have a high enough kudos level, you get tickets. Which I had until you came along. Oh, right. Mentor Alonso. Don't blame him. The only reason he even came here is because of Graham. Why didn't my husband just shut up, smile, and go to work like the rest of us? Instead of ranting and raving about conspiracies and all that nonsense. I really need to get to the Aspiration Gala. You! You need to get there. It's all because of you that I'm no longer on the guest list. I said I was sorry. It's the missing children. I think something big is about to happen. The audacity! Why don't you run off and find Reginald, or that stuck-up droid of his, Tarquin? They're likely the only ones still going around here. I need to get tickets for tonight's gala. You and me both. Like I said, you'll have better luck speaking to Reginald or Tarquin. Thanks. Yeah, bye.
Good evening, Master Grundy. Off to work, I see. What? Oh, yes, the cleaning won't supervise itself. Are you going to the Aspiration Gala? Going? One is headlining, sir. What do you mean? Yours truly is performing in front of the best and brightest of Union City. Performing what? Droid poetry, sir. Oh, boy. As an honored guest, do you have any spare tickets for tonight's Aspiration Gala? Yes. One has been granted several refer-a-friend passes to the Aspiration Gala. Can I have one? Would Sir consider us to be... friends? Yes, of course. Moments ago, Sir did not remember one's name. Yes, but... In spite of the 322 exchanges we have had since we became neighbors. Yeah, I can see how that might hurt a bit. So this poetry performance you mentioned, what's the story? Ah, one has been invited to recite a humorous poem of one's own devising at tonight's Aspiration Gala. You, a droid, have been tasked with writing a poem? Oh, yes, sir. The Poet Laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire performs regularly at the gala, and this year he has invited me to open for him by reading an inspirational and humorous example of droid poetry on stage. Droid poetry? How's that working out? Very good, sir. Reginald has told me that whatever I read, it will be hilarious, and the people will laugh uncontrollably. Hmm. Laugh at or laugh with. Oh, is there a difference? That's what I thought. Could I hear some of your droid poetry? Fine idea. One would value the input of an average human. If you're looking for average, he's your man. After 148,606 iterations, I have narrowed down the contenders to a manageable number. Here is number 59. <clears throat> there was once an A from place B, with unforeseen predicate P. Factor F occurred next, which resulted in X, and hilarious consequence C. Ha! Brilliant! Bravo! It might be a little... on the nose. Dear me, it's not about noses. It is a study of the structure of a limerick, assembled into the pattern of an actual limerick. How very... clever. Indeed. That is what makes it so very funny. Absolutely. You got any other poems in the running? Oh, yes, sir. One has a list of things humans find funny. Shoot. <clears throat> Uncooked sausages, dogs wearing costumes, music of the tuba, children falling down, undone zippers, people dropping sandwiches, knock-knock jokes, and the smell of farts. <laughs> that one was pretty good. I don't get that one at all. But it has a good beat, and it's easy to dance to. The rhythmic structure is satisfying, is it not, sir? Very. And the farts, sir? That's the best bit. Any more poems? Oh, of course. This poem is an attempt to bring droids and humans closer together. It interlaces the brain-altering ingredients of spankles with the first 100 digits of the square root of two. Sounds like a hit already. <clears throat> Cyclomate of sodium. 1.41421. Flavorant toxicity. Potassium benzoate 09504880168872. High fructose. I think I get the idea. But there are 13 more verses. Oh, Foster, let him finish. It's got something for everybody. 4209698. Monosodium! Save it for the gala. Don't want to spoil the show now, do you? Any more poems? One has decided to continue working on the fart poem. But do let one know, should Sir find inspiration to offer, 
One will make it worth Sir's while. I'll keep my eyes open. If I gave you a bit of inspiration for your poem, could you get me into the gala? Sir, that would be only fair. I'm sure Sir would enjoy the fruits of that inspiration at the performance. I realized if I could help Tarquin with his poem, he could get me into the gala. So Reginald's the go-to guy for inspiration, hmm? Absolutely. His wit and insight is renowned. And yet he's asked you to perform alongside him. Yes, for comparison. I see. Where would I find Reginald? Well, he is likely in the piazza, finalizing his humorous poem for tonight's event. But I am his servant, not his keeper, sir. So just to be clear, I give you inspiration, you get me into aspiration. Inspiration for aspiration. That's rather clever. And it rhymes. Sir's genius is luminescent. In that case, let me go see what I can find. See you soon, Tarquin. I do hope that I'll also be seeing you. Joey? What now, Foster? Any ideas how he can help Tarquin with his poetry? Not really. But when I get stuck in a problem, sometimes I like to sing a little song to myself. Roses are red, violets are blue, something, something, something. Maybe we can steal it. That's terrible. See, droids can't do poetry. Any ideas how he can help Tarquin with his poetry? You're the one with the sticky fingers, Foster. I don't even have fingers in this stupid shell. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. Tarquin's master, Reginald, was supposed to be around here somewhere. Hey, Joey. What? What are we doing here again? Helping Tarquin with his poem. Oh, yeah. We need inspiration to help Tarquin with his poem. Great. Where can we buy some? Inspiration isn't something you buy. It's intangible. Well, if we can't buy it, can we steal some? What part of intangible are you not getting? Where can we get some inspiration for Tarquin? Let's find someone with bags of inspiration. Good start. Then we'll hit them with something and steal it. I don't think that's how it works. Tarquin needs a good poem, but the only guy around here with poetry skills is the poet himself. Well, let's hack into his head and take all his data. Humans don't work that way. Can't we just try? Let's move on. Lead the way. Everything is fine. Please clear the area, citizen. Hey, a 
another customer. Please scan your Yucha to place an order. I was looking for an eccentric poet, and Reginald certainly fit the bill. Hello. Hi there, citizen. Do you know the guy in the VIP lounge? Of course. That would be the wonderful Sir Reginald Arthur Schnipple, Union City's Poet Laureate. Is he any good? Oh, yes. He comes to tell me quite often how brilliant he is. Or that the music is too distracting. What's Reginald doing in there? Other than enjoying the cafe's fine playlist? Working on his latest piece, I believe. He's performing at the Aspiration Gala, you know. Why does Reginald come here to work? For the stimulating and creative atmosphere, I imagine. We do have to be careful with the music, though. What do you mean? Let's just say Sir Reginald has a singular taste in music. Can you let me in the VIP lounge? Alas, no. Once everyone is special, then nobody is. Bye for now. Keep a smile on your face. was working hard at what I assumed was his latest poem. Excuse me. What? Oh, yes, all right, if you insist, I do have time for a selfie. What? I completely understand. It's not every day you run into Poet Laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire, is it now? No, it's me, Graham Grundy. Ah, yes, Grundy. Hero of the hour. I've always wondered, where do you get your ideas from? Oh, there's a quaint little ideas shop down in the Purple Quarter. Really? No, dear boy. I am demonstrating what some of us are blessed to call wit. What are you drinking? Ah, my secret vice. Hemingway, Wilde, Yeats, Kanye, Schnipple, a burden we all bear. What flavor? Strawberry. Wouldn't you prefer to work somewhere more private? My friend, a flower cannot grow in darkness. The seed of inspiration can only flourish in the light of day. What about potatoes? They grow in the dark. What on earth is a potato? The thing they make french fries out of. Oh, goodness. Next you'll be telling me the ketchup grows on a vine. <laughs> I can't believe I'm standing in the presence of THE Reginald Arthur Schnipple. Esquire? Esquire. Can I read some of your poetry? Ha-ha, <laughs> cheeky. Get me a drink first. Okay, what are you having? Figure of speech, dear boy. No, you can't read my poetry, but you shall hear it later tonight. Could you read me some of your poetry? Right. How's this? Roses are red, violets are blue. If you want to hear my poems, work on your kudos score. Maybe you'll get into the aspiration party next year. It's a bit abstract. How about this music, huh? Ah, this is my favorite spot to come and write. The people, the drink, the music. Just perfect. Sophisticated sounds, wouldn't you agree? Each to his own, I guess. I heard a rumor that you'll be speaking at the Aspiration Gala tonight. Ah, how could it be a rumor when it is the Joey-spoken truth, hmm? Indeed, I have had the honor of headlining the gala since its inception. This year, I have a particular treat for the audience to enjoy. <laughs> oh, you mean Tarquin and the Droid Poetry? 
bless that loquacious mechanical jewel. I was quite clear that it was to be our secret. Will you be at the gala? I'd like to, but my kudos isn't high enough. Shame. I'm brewing up a proper chuckle this year. But fear not. You can catch it tomorrow when they stream the whole thing. Joy unbounded. Can you get me into the Aspiration Gala? <laughs> Good one. I'm serious. So am I. Listen, I understand your disappointment, but you can watch it on your terminal tomorrow. Despair ye not. Reginald wasn't nearly as cooperative as his butler. I'd need to rely on Tarquin for those gala tickets. I'd really like to go to the Aspiration Gala. I'm sure you would. I was just speaking to your droid, Tarquin. Ha <laughs> ha! He didn't send you here to steal all my good ideas, did he? What? Of course not. Between you and me, I cannot wait to see what sort of inspiration a droid comes up with. Do you have any tips to help Tarquin with his poems? Ha! Ah! What rhymes with hopeless? I don't see how that's going to help anyone. Exactly. What if I told you Tarquin's poem was hilarious? Why, dear boy, do not even joke of such things. His poetry will indeed be highly amusing, though certainly not as a result of any deliberate acts of witticism. Why did you ask Tarquin to perform? One must never be upstaged by a mere warm-up act, dear boy. In the wake of such tragedy, my genius will shine all the greater. I'm looking for some inspiration on writing poetry. My dear boy, please do not mistake these luscious locks for those of a creative muse. I just figured you could help me out. Listen, I'll stick to poetry and you stick to whatever it is you do. Could you share some of your inspiration? Oh, afraid not, old chap. My secrets are secure on my tablet, and there they shall remain. To be revealed only in the course of my brilliant oration at tonight's gala. Don't let me interrupt the genius at work. Too late! <laughs> Can of spankles. There you are, you naughty little spankles. Come back to Papa. I've brought you a mini knockwurst. Why on earth did you do that? I'm a nice guy. Oh, the lengths to which my fans will go to ingratiate themselves with me. Look, I'm a social climber. So I see. Here's a first for everything, I suppose. Don't you have a brooch? Oh, hundreds, dear boy. Back at home. Please scan your U-chip to place an order. Hey, Joey. What? Okay. I think Reginald is the key to Tarquin's problem. I agree. Death to all humans! That's not what I meant. Sorry, I extrapolated from incomplete data again. Please continue. Let's steal one of his poems and give it to Tarquin. I'm in. How do we steal one of Reggie's poems? Let's hack into his brain and steal all the data. That idea is perfect, except replace the word brain with tablet. Oh, yeah, your way makes more sense. Let's move on. Lead the way. I could see from her uniform that this was a diagnostician. Citizen 
Jordan's a happy aspiration day. Hey there. <clears throat> hey there. Oh, hey, how are you? What are you doing here? Can't you tell? I'm a diagnostician. Diagnostician? Do you actually fix stuff? No, Joey. They just scan the problem. And my nose fixes it. Kind of like you're a hacker thing, Foster. Hey, my friend can hack stuff for... Whoa there, Joey. I'm sure the nice lady isn't interested in that. I like your scanner. Thanks. Load of junk, really. I prefer a good old-fashioned spanner. You'd love mine. Hey, where'd you get that? You don't look like a diagnostician. It's, uh, for cleaning. Uh-oh, Foster. I think she's on to us. So you're a diagnostician? I mean, technically, right now, yes. But my job doesn't define me, you know? What are you listening to? Uh, you wouldn't know them. Give me a shot. I'm surprisingly hip. Hip? You actually said hip, didn't you? See you later. Yeah, cool. With music that loud, I couldn't hear my own thoughts. Maybe that was the point. How about a mini K? Oh man, how'd you get your hands on those? I know a guy. Well, hand it over. Thanks, man. Do you have one of these brooches? I think you're mistaking me for a social climber. Change in music clearly wasn't to her liking. Excuse me. What can I do for you? Are your headphones busted? Headphones work. It's what's coming out of them that sucks. Is your music player still acting up? Sure is. I prefer silence to this stuff. See you later. Yeah. Cool. music playing in the VIP lounge. Apologies, citizen. Would you like to file a report and request the technician look into your problem? Of course. I would like this remedied immediately. Affirmative. Your request has been noted. This issue will be solved as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. How soon? Unknown. Thank you for your patience. Ooh, droids. Please scan your user to place an order. Oh, 
present at the scene of an active alarm. Did I do something wrong? That remains to be seen. Do you have any information on the cause of the alarm? I think I saw that poet messing around earlier. I shall investigate. I recommend you keep a distance from the subject. You may go about your business. upon us with breath of mint and bile. It consumes our darkest substance, leaving nothing but a smile. The robot didn't quite know how to handle this new data. The city smiles upon us with breath of mint and bile. It consumes our darkest substance, leaving nothing but a smile. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Happy aspiration day, sir. Please choose your desired hologram. I think the Spankles head really speaks to my identity. Marvelous choice. You're sure to be the life of the day's celebrations. There, your aspiration brooch is ready to collect. Thanks. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. I now had Reginald's poetry on my aspiration brooch. Just what Tarquin was after. Hey, Joey. What? You think Reginald is going to be mad when Tarquin reads his poem? Absolutely. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Let's move on. Lead the way. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Take me to my apartment. Certainly, Citizen Graham. if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. I've found you some inspiration. Bravo, sir! And where was it? It's always in the last place you look. 
Would Sir care to share? Absolutely. Here you go. Oh, Sir, what an assembly of words. This will have the humans sitting with their backs against the backs of their chairs and their arms upon the armrests. This is sure to conjure heightened emotions from Master Reginald when one reads it. Oh, you bet. I don't want to find out which emotions. Thank you, sir. Now, may one bestow upon sir a token of gratitude? If by that you mean hand me a ticket to the gala, then yes. One does indeed. Thank you, Tarquin. And best of luck at the performance. No, sir. Thank you. This will be a night to remember. Oh, there is one small issue, sir. What's that? I do believe your attire is somewhat inadequate for the soiree this eve. Perhaps I can find something for you. That'd be most appreciated. Excuse me, sir. Welcome home. Your delivery has been placed in your domicile. Tarquin had found me a tuxedo. It looked like it would fit. Looking sharp, Rob. Now that had style. Glad to have you back, Rob. if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good day, Master Grundy. Are you happy with your inspiration? Oh, yes, sir. One cannot wait for tonight. Neither can sir. Later, Tarquin. Have a good day, Mr. Grun-day. Excuse me. Now that is an inspiring outfit, sir. You're looking... different? Where do you think you're going? I knew Songbird was upset that she wasn't going to the gala. I'm going to the Aspiration Gala. I think the people who took the kids might be there. You toad. That's my party! I should be there! What a nightmare! My husband goes mad, falls in with a conspiracy nut! Give my honeymoon gift to a feral runaway! Then you show up! Well, I hope you're happy. Songbird, I... No, no more talking! You go to the party. You have fun looking for kids. See how far that gets you. If I ever see you again, it'll be too damn soon.